Okay, I just got some comfrey block in 14 in from Emerald Earth Botanicals in North Carolina. Um, let's see what the clippings look like. little business card an invoice thanking me North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services license certificate. Um, very good. Uh, definitely a certified, a certified grower, that's for sure. And here's some planting instructions. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, comes in a baggie. Open up the baggie. It's wrapped in moist paper, brown paper. Let's see. Excellent job, it looks like. Let's see what the comfrey looks like. Now there's some white paper from brown to white. So it's double, double wrapped. And here we go. Oh, already sprouting. Here's one, two sprouting, three sprouting, four no sprouts, five, sprout, six, no sprout, seven, no sprout, eight, sprout, nine, sprout, 10, no sprout, 11, sprout, 12, sprout, 13, sprout, a couple sprouts. This one is sprouting really nice. And then there's some smaller sprouts. Most of all these others have smaller sprouts, which is nice. I could cut that and cut that and plant it. So here I go. Put these on the paper. Cover them up real quick. Don't want to handle them too much. Put this over them. Okay, overall, um, I would say they look terrific. Nice and long. They got sprouts on them so they're alive. 
Love is business card. Emerald Earth Botanicals. Very nice. And some instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions. Get my plant clippers. And I'll come back. And I'm going to plant them. Put them under light. So give me a few minutes to get all set. And we'll get to work here. Okay, I got my clippers, got some alcohol, it's my bird in the background, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use alcohol on my trimmers, my clippers. Making sure I get all this dirt off of it. Okay, so these are friskers. And we're going to go ahead and plant in these cups first. Got a bucket of well water. I'm going to go ahead and wet everything nice. Okay, I got perlite and peat moss. Um, it's three to two, the ratio. So let's go ahead and wet everything down. Okay, you got three parts peat moss to two parts perlite. 18 ounce cups, got a hole in the bottom. This is what I utilize for all my all my seedlings. Okay, let's see what we got here. First one has a nice a nice root in there so I'll clip it and another one there okay so I'm going to put this one in like this since it's already coming up. I'm just going to put my finger down in there. Drop this whole thing in. And cover it up. There was one. This one's got the root in right there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that one in. The roots are going that way, so I'm going to put it down that way. Got the whole thing covered up. Okay, and this piece here, I don't see 
I don't see any root cutting, so I'm going to put it in sideways, like that. Just underneath the soil. Okay, here goes another. I got a root there, and a root there, and a root there, so. Gonna clip that there. Gonna clip that there. And that looks like a root there. So I'm gonna clip these two. And I'll put those in in a minute. Okay. It has a root there. So I'm going to take this. Going to take this cutting. And go. One there. And one there. And this one has a root there. So I'm going to go ahead and. Looks like one there, so I'm going to put this one in sideways and I cut this one into two right there. A root and a root. This has a nice root right there and a little bit of one there, so I'm going to put this one here. one here and this one here same thing this one here has a root and a root I'll cut right in between them and I'll cut this one in half that's got a root there and a little bit right there one here has got a root here and a root there so let's go ahead and put this one right there put this one in the middle right here okay I'm gonna have to get another tray up there but let me plant these first Push that down with my finger, and I'll take this, and I'll just set that in, like that, put the dirt over it, oops, Gonna do the same thing. Here's the root. Gonna put that in right there. Made it a little slot, so I just drop that in. A little bit of a root there, drop it in, cover it up. A little root there. Little nubs, but no root. We'll just put that one in. A 
little bit of a root there. Okay, there's a root there, some growth. Little piece there. And all these are going in sideways now so they can sprout up both sides. This one has two of them starting. It has one down there and a little bit over there. Okay, so that's one tray, and this one I gotta put in, doesn't fit, so I'll clip it here. There's a root, right there. Okay, take some more well water. The well water is room temperature because I had that bucket in here a couple days, so it acclimated. Okay, here's one more that I left out right here. So I'm gonna put that one in. Got a little bit of a root. Is my bucket of well water okay so now I'm gonna take this set it over it Okay. Okay, what I do to all my seedlings over here, I'm gonna do the same thing to this. Okay. Fold that down. Mark it with today's date. January 12th. So I'm gonna put one twelve. So now I know what date I started these. Do it this way. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm going to put this on the shelf.
Okay, you got the idea. I did 20. And I'm going to do, let me cut, I'll just cut these. Um, I have to go ahead and prepare more soil, so let me just cut these. See, I mean, I got this 20 trays there, and see how many I can make out of those. Okay, so that's 20 and here's one. Let me put these on paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So I got 20, 22 here and 20, so that's 42 plants hopefully will come up. Time will tell. Let me get some cups, some potting soil, and another tray. Yeah, those are all full. There's labels on them, so they're all full. Okay. Okay, what I went ahead and did is I got some more cups and just about a stack like that. I took the drill. The drill's in reverse. If you go the regular way, it'll split the cup. But if you go in reverse, you let the heat, you let the heat work its way through. And then it makes nice, nice round holes that are cauterized, they melt it. Remember, if you go to the regular way, it splits, you go backwards, it makes perfectly nice round holes. So, let me go ahead and fill these up with dirt. Okay, I'm back. Basically what I did, I didn't want to do it in here, I'd make a mess, but out there, I put in potting soil. Well, basically I made potting soil and I put in peat moss, three scoops peat moss to two peat, uh, two scoops perlite, so three to two, and then I put water in there and mixed it with my hand, so it makes a, so it's soft enough like that, but it's not wet to where it squeezes out, and then I went ahead and put them in cups, let me put this down, then I went ahead and put them in cups, the water is not coming out, so it's done right. And I got these square, the solo square cups right now. So let me go ahead and lay some out. And when I plant these and fill these up, the water will come out the bottom. So they got good drainage. Then the water will sit in this cover and, and sift back up um, as needed. And as I'm working here, I'm getting some water in on the floor, but 
I got a towel down so I could sop it up. All right, so. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, twelve, twenty-four in here. So let's go ahead and wet my hands. Let's take these clippings. Set them in. Taking two fingers to make a straight line so I could set those. Made a straight line so I could set those down in there like that. Do this one a little deeper since the root is like that. Just doing these real fast. By the way, the instruction says well drained soil. Uh, they said to cut these about an inch. They're a little bit bigger than an inch. I'll talk to you about this company in a little bit. Uh, basically, if you look online, most people sell, they charge you more money, and they only give you one-inch clippings. These, these clippings were pretty big, so you could cut them up. And you get a whole lot more for your money. Not to mention this, this company is a quality company. The guy knows what he's doing. I'll give you guys the name and the link of the company. Okay, we've got two extra cups, put those back. Now go ahead and cover these all up and then water them. Now these are not the evasive type. They stay, they only get grown by root clippings. There's an invasive type that you use seeds, but when the plant grows, it makes more seeds and they blow around and it just takes over. So if these are real nice because they clump up and they're only spread by the roots, which is I think the other one is, is number four. These are four, block in 14, which are only done by root clippings. Okay, let me put water in there.
Once again, I only use my irrigation well water. I don't use my tap water. That's got chlorine. So this is un no chlorine in it. It's got a little bit of sulfur smell to it though. So I'm filling these cups up and they're draining already, which is, that's what you want to see. You want to see the water flowing out. That means you have well-drained potting soil. I like using a water bottle. I put my finger there and I could kind of control how much comes out. And it comes out a lot more softly than just pouring it in. Okay, a little spill on the floor. I got hardwood floors, so I gotta kind of pay attention to that. So anyway, there's water in the tray. Move these around even like. That tray catches the water and it will evaporate. So let me take this tray and real easy. Okay, so what do we got here? We have, so that's basically what they look like right there. Got the lights over them. And here you go, here's the other one. Today's date's on it. I'm gonna mark that tray. I'm gonna write down Comfrey. So that one's in a dome. I don't have another dome. I gotta go buy more. That one's not. So, with the date on there, um, I'll know when I planted them, and we'll, I'll, I'll keep track and see what the progress is with them growing and sprouting out. And um, anyways, that's about it. That's um, clipping, transplanting, and growing comfrey. Let's see what happens. Okay, what I did is I made some labels. I'm going to mark the trays, comfrey, and put the date, 112. And went ahead and got some markers and just wrote down that they're comfrey. So I don't mix up my seedlings and stuff. So I know this whole thing here is comfrey. I'm going to put the label on the tray. And... Same thing over here. Here, yeah, one note is When you write on these markers, I used to use a Sharpie, but what happens is with the Sharpie, when you put it out in the sun, it fades. So you go online and you get these graphites. They're artist pens that you, you draw with. And this one here is a number uh, 8B. It's a dark one, so when you write when you write down, it stays on here, it doesn't fade. So um, I'll put the link down below. They work fantastic. Otherwise, after a few months, 
You don't know what it's on there because it fades out. Okay, that wraps it up.